Yes, you would be. Hey, there he goes. Fuck you, Pine Script. All right. Well, a little bit of bounce back today. Up 123 BPS. Slightly over the MM's expected move, but not yet at my predicted high for the week. Um, obviously, the election will have probably some major impact in the overnight session. I don't know how much impact it'll have, but um, some volatility is also increasing and uh contracts for tomorrow are massively overpriced es broke above the 5800 resistance but failed to test 5820 so far that's our next level of resistance that we're looking at for a reversal to form here um then yeah we'd be looking probably at it 5850 above that uh commodities up slightly well down. broad commodities down but gold precious metals up oil up um i'm not actually sure what it fell on maybe agricultural commodities or something i'll have to look into that um dixie down 40 points today uh continuing to price in the risk from the election on the dollar however um yields for the better part of the day were up at the back end of the curve although they did fall slightly after the auction uh failed to produce a tail uh correlation on the one in three month uh really really just continued to push down so more dispersion coming in um but not not aggressively uh, leverage on the carry dropped uh, both on the long and short end, but the forward yield on vol is pressuring higher and now at 12.43%, which is fairly significant. It's going to increase the demand for vol volatility. And so if we do get a rejection at any point off of the multitude of resistances that we're approaching to the upside, it could be could be fairly violent correlation turned back down pretty hard uh however bond volatility is continuing to rise uh no big changes in skew um so those tail risk hedges that have been picked up are being held on to uh 33 of the s p above its 20-day moving average so still not a ton of breadth coming in to support all of this and uh correlation between vix cash vix is falling pretty rapidly um it's i mean it's like a, a fairly steady decline but the moves are fairly large i think we've gone from you know roughly 100 percent correlation back here to about uh, 85 82 now out on the weekly and not much of a change so week over week we're not seeing very big moves uh, but we are we are seeing a lot of uh shorter dated short vol coming in um, to stabilize against these supports that we we're testing. Uh, Fed fund futures now pricing in 58, or I'm sorry, 57 points of rate cuts by June of 2025, uh, with 85% uh, chance of the Fed raising rates at this November upcoming November meeting. Um, the two 10-year spread uh, moved down pretty hard today. Uh, from about 12% yesterday down to 9.4% today. And so we're starting to see a little bit of a move towards reinversion in the yield curve, but that might be a little bit of softening in the bear steepener as well. Yeah, when people's rights are threatened, they tend to do that. Well, yeah, because it's shitty. The erosion, the erosion of rights is uh, not a good thing obviously identify as what nvidia closed as the world's biggest company oh shit if it's so bad why take them away well people don't want other people to have things or choices or options because people are shitty when are until first exit polling results i think two hours right six o'clock i think six o'clock is the first closed polls if i'm not mistaken yeah six o'clock for indiana and kentucky and then after that, it's like the rest of Indiana, Kentucky, Vermont, New Hampshire, Virginia, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. And then 8 o'clock is like a bunch of states. I think New York comes in at 9, California at uh, like 11 o'clock, something like that. FOMC is not tomorrow. It's Thursday, I believe. Nothing tomorrow. Tomorrow's pretty dead. I mean, the election, but I mean, as far as economic data goes, we don't have much going on tomorrow.
Um, I think, like, EIA estimates and, like, rig counts or some shit, and then, um, or stock change, and then uh, maybe some mortgage data. Uh, in the morning, we have uh, German and EU PMIs, and we have EU PPI. So those those could have some effect, especially if if the election is decided by then, and some of that premium returns back to the dollar. Those could have a big big swing. I'd imagine if PPI is substantially lower, deflationary, or their composite PMIs are better or worse, that'll probably. Because the euro's gained on the dollar pretty hard this week with the election, um, and it could it could definitely seed back a lot of those gains. Are you streaming the presidential earnings now? All right, guys, go vote or whatever. Later.